welcome to the edge of the solar system and battle zone combat commander 2 now i just got this game off goodoldgames.com i honestly did not want to wait for the steam version despite the fact that i suspect there will be a lot of nice content in the steam workshop that i am going to enjoy so we're just going to jump straight into the single play campaign and see if we can't try and save the earth or whatever. Major Manson, this is General Braddock. Come in. If you can hear this, Major, get your troops in order. The AAN has voted to investigate the attack on the Cerberus base, and an ISDF fleet has been dispatched immediately. Repeat, an ISDF fleet will be arriving on Pluto shortly. Please ensure all sensitive information is secure. We're checking this out like you're a scout base, Manson. So you better look like a scout base when we get there. Lieutenant Cook, this is your commander, Yelena Shabayev. I thought I'd introduce myself before we head out with the Second Fleet tomorrow. Make sure you and your squad check in with me before you board the carrier. We're going to be on the front lines for this one, re-establishing contact with an outpost on Pluto. I don't know what's out there, Lieutenant, so let's prepare ourselves for every possible option. Okay, so we've lost contact with one of our outposts. And it's up to us to investigate. The outpost in question is on Pluto. Contact has been lost with the Cerberus base on Pluto. Cerberus base is the ISDF's outermost defensive position and had previously been kept so secret that it was built from divested resources without the knowledge of the Alliance of Awakened Nations. Because of this catastrophe, Ambassador Cossier, president of the AAN, has been informed of our secret base. Since it was created without his sanction, Cossier is likely to use this disaster as a pretext to challenge military control of the ISDF. General Braddock needs to know what happened on Pluto as soon as possible before the ISDF in further, is further undermined by Earthbound bureaucrats. The two goals on Pluto are to rescue any surviving soldiers from the Cerberus base and to determine the source of the attack. You have been assigned to command the Chabaye squad and will conduct reconnaissance. Command requests that you conduct your search with extreme discretion, given the danger and the politically sensitive nature of the situation. You must follow orders extremely closely. Just four years ago, I was standing in my father's field, looking up at the stars. Sometimes I don't know how I got here. I was supposed to be just another nobody in North Platte, fixing up the truck so it'll last until the next loan comes through. But ever since someone told me that people were up in space, guys just like me, I knew I had to go. In training, they told me about the biometal wars in the 60s, back when Russia was Russia and they were the bad guys. Now they say it's all about maintenance, keeping a lid on the peace, dividing up the biometal, moving forward together. Until I got into secret ops. And trust me, there's a lot more to the ISDF than just keeping the peace these days. Crossing 1,200 feet. Condor 4, watch that burn wake at 10 o'clock. Roger that, Condor 5. Starting landing sequence, Commander Shabayev. What you have to consider with Redux games such as this is that when you play the game for the first time, your nostalgia tinted goggles will make you think that it always looked this good. And to be fair, I have a bit of that feeling because. Okay, Lieutenant Cook. Lieutenant Sims, when the doors in front of you open, I want you to vacate the ship and follow me until we're clear. Commander, we're not recruits on a trading ground. We know how to... Yeah, uh, Battle Zone 2 might have looked good, uh, nowhere close to this mode. I mean, the terrain and the star field... Okay, let's move out. 
I also like the fact that in ba in uh, Battlezone 2, unlike uh, the first game, you actually start out as a clear subordinate. It's a far better way to ease you into the base building aspects of the game. Hold up here, men. What's up, Commander? The landing a little rough for you? Just waiting for you slow pokes. And just for that comment, I think my men and I will take the easy way. Begging your pardon, I'm just gonna see about getting that voice volume a bit up for you. Um, I think the best way to do it is just simply to uh, lower the music. There doesn't appear to be any s subtitles though, so we'll just go with it. Then we'll take the high road, Red One. See you at the base. Alright, let's get moving. It's interesting to note that the ISDF Scout seems more based on the Black Dog is uh, Thunderbolt when it comes to armament. They've kept the missiles and stuck with basic miniguns. They've also kept the profile of the Scout rather than the rather large target area of the Soviet flanker. Whoa! Watch out for the unstable terrain! Whoa! Crap! Lieutenant Sims. You take the pass to the east. Yes, sir. Heading out. Lieutenant Cook, you're with me. On your wing, Commander. I'm picking up something strange at my 11 o'clock heading north. Stay on it, Sims. Cook and I will try to cut it off up ahead. Radar contact. Unknown targets. No idea what that is. Got a lock. Stand by, fire and forget missiles. It's doing something. Open fire. Target is hostile. Target destroyed. What was that thing? I don't know. But we've got a full complement of minigun rounds and fire and forget missiles with us. Don't be afraid to use them. Stand by. I'm detecting signs of an outpost just over the hill. Sky Eye, this is Commander Shabayev. Objective located. Proceeding to secure. Sky Eye, do you copy? There's too much radio interference here. Let's keep moving. We'll approach the area from the east. Follow me. Roger that, Commander. We'll get it done. No offense, Commander, but you seem to be something of a traffic hazard. As long as these things have uh, bumper pillows, I should be alright with you just breaking into my path like that. Could you stop that, please? I'm trying to keep a tight formation here. Contact. I got contact on the base. The outpost is coming into range. Let's throttle down. That is a destroyed APC. Outpost itself looks at least moderately intact. Lieutenant Cook, you better stick with me. Looks like one of ours. All right, let's move inside. Stay sharp. For a scout outpost, this place sure was heavily armed. Hold the commentary, Lieutenant Sims, and give me a 200 meter sweep of the area. Yes, sir. Heading out. Lieutenant Cook. I want you to search for the communication station. Scan the buildings by pointing at them and pressing your I key. 
The information box on the right side of your HUD will tell you when you found it. I'm going to check the tunnels. Roger that, Commander. Good job, Cook. That's the one. I'll meet you there. I'm getting some strange readings from inside that station, Cook. Go inside the structure and check it out. To hop out of your vehicle, thank you for that key. task. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Commander, there's a man in here. An ISDF officer. An officer? Is he alive? Only if you call this living. It's about time you boys got here. Who am I speaking with? This is Commander Shabayev of the 2nd Fleet Orange Squad. Well, I'm Major Manson, Commander. I've got an unknown number of hostiles crawling all over this rock. Is your ship-to-shore uplink operational? I need to talk to Braddock. Not right now. Something is interfering with our communications. Then they already know you're here, ma'am. You better call for any squad support that can hear you. Commander Shabayev, come in. I've got an unidentified radar contact in my area. Copy that, Lieutenant. Cook, get back to your ship. Stay here for now, Major. I'll be back for you. Roger that. All right, Cook. On your wing, Commander. We better be ready to help out Sims. I've got a visual. They're attacking. I'm engaging targets. I've got them on radar. I'll paint you a target when we're in range. Stand by to engage. Roger that. We're on it. I'm targeting another hostile for you, Cook. Look for it in your HUD and engage. I'll take the other one. Looks what like the Sims got them all by her. They came himself. out of nowhere. We've got company out here. Let's get back to that outpost. I got your six. I'll shield Sims from further attacks. I've got another radar contact near the outpost. Cook, intercept it. You can target it yourself with your T key. Roger that. We're on it. 400, 300 meters away and closing. Stand by missiles. Missiles are effective on targets. Target destroyed. Good show, people. Mayday! This is Red Squad. We are under attack. Request assistance. Copy, Red Copy Squad. Red one. Cook, rendezvous with me immediately. On our way. Copy, Red One. This is Squad Orange. Can you transmit your location? Got it, Red One. On our way. I'm banged up pretty bad here, Commander. All right, Lieutenant Sims, stay here. Lieutenant Cook, follow me. Roger, that's Commander. Already on the way. This area is too hot. I'm going to have to stay here with Sims and the Major. You're going to have to assist those men. All right. Lieutenant Cook, move out. You could have said that before I turn back to join your flank, Commander. Stand by, Red One. Engaging the sentry. Target destroyed. Another one. Point two, engaging. Fox two. Target destroyed. Good shooting, Cook. You saved my ass out there. I've located a service truck, but lost it in a crater to the south when things got hot. You'd better try to get to him. He's shaking up pretty bad. Roger that. I'm on it. Found it. Thank God. Get me out of here. This place is crawling with I don't know what, but it ain't friendly. The lieutenant will get you out of there, but you must head for my coordinates to the west. Do you copy? Roger, I'm moving. Lieutenant Cook, escort that vehicle to my position. Stay with him. Will do. I'm picking up two more hostiles on an intercept course, Cook. Hold them off. I'm on my way to you. An entire army's worth of hover vehicles, and that truck is using wheels. Investigate point two. Let's 
Shabayev, it I would greatly appreciate it if you learned how to not crash into me at every single opportunity. Well done, Lieutenant Cook. Two now follow me destroyed. back to the outpost. Well done, Lieutenant Cook. The service truck has reached the base safely. Nice one. Congratulations on successfully rescuing Major Manson. His debriefing indicated Cerberus base was attacked suddenly by an element of the same alien forces you encountered. Though Manson and his squad may have expected some enemy resistance, they were not prepared for such a size and force. ISDF investigation units have been dispatched to try and determine what the source of the radio interference problem. It looks like the enemy has some sort of ability to wreak havoc on ISDF communications and radar. The enemy forces have currently been held off, but not pushed back. We must stabilize the situation as soon as possible. Braddock has ordered your unit to return to Cerberus base and to operational condition as quickly as possible. If you just pardon me, I am going to fix one thing. And first of all, we're going to have automatic leveling on. And I also have... Uh, currently um, an in-game resolution expansion and we're gonna halve that and see if that works better for us and hopefully the oh we didn't actually have the 3d cockpits on so we'll just put on the 3d cockpits because everything looks better with the 3d cockpit so uh, I don't think we're gonna be adding the controls moving right now or we could do that and see how it works out. General Braddock, this is Commander Shabayev reporting for duty. I file the request that full information about the Cerberus base be made available to the field commanders. The intelligence reports we've received haven't been up to regulation, and I'm sure you can understand my desire to use the best knowledge available in order to keep my men safe and secure from this unknown enemy. This is General Braddock, filing report A04 for Ambassador Cossier. Our investigation into Cerberus base will continue as soon as I've established clear contact with Major Manson and we've had time to confer. Over and out. Some survivors of Cerberus base has been found, but most of the soldiers are believed dead, victims of the initial attack. 40 kilometers to the north. An unexplored second section of the base lies to the east. This contains the base power system, which currently needs to be reactivated. The base should contain some construction equipment that may aid your task. Just behind the base, a few vehicles modified for mining were discovered, though no evidence have yet been found to indicate that any illegal mining activity had been going on. All records of shipments coming to and from Cerberus base, those which have so far been uncovered, indicate only basic life-sustaining equipment being brought in and out. Further investigation have been scheduled. So now we know what we're fighting. Monsters. But did Manson know? Or the rest of those men on the Cerberus base? Did they even know what hit them? If I'd joined up just a few years earlier, that could have been me, trying to hold down an outpost on Pluto against an army we're not equipped to fight. I've seen those telegrams go out to the families of the men that were killed. They don't explain anything. Your son died for the cause. But whose cause? The ISDFs? Braddocks? Maybe the Cerberus base will hold the answers. Okay, Lieutenant. Follow me. That's interesting. I remember this weapon being far more satisfying to fire, but maybe that was some other kind of infantry weapon. Or maybe it's just my nostalgia, nostalgia rose-hinted goggles speaking again. Let's see, we have a number of scouts available to us. We'll just... We'll take the service truck with us. You'll need to have the service truck follow you. 
to give it good. The service trucks right behind you. Good. Now let's go. Follow me. Yeah, I have to say I like the cockpit a lot better. While I, in my childhood, played a lot of Battlesome without the cockpits, I have... Hold up here a moment, Lieutenant. Sometimes you need to wait for slower vehicles, like a service truck. I don't really see why we're bringing that thing okay, into combat. Okay, you got it. Follow me. I'm picking up another radar contact just over that hill. Stick close. Shabayev, we've talked about this. Could you try to not let me collide into you? Fox 2. Enemy appears to be regenerating. It's a construct. Wait, I'm under attack. Two enemy units. Roger that. That's what was jamming our transmission. Nice job, Lieutenant. Rendezvous with me immediately. Watch that crossfire! Commander, you're in my line I'm of fire. I'm ordering the service truck to repair me. Hang on, this will only take a second. While the service truck is servicing me, you can repair and rearm yourself by moving in close to it. Target will not be destroyed. Its regenerative properties are too strong. I say again, regenerative properties are too strong. Missiles and miniguns do not do enough damage. Ready to go? Good. I want to track down that other vehicle that got away. Okay, you've got it. Follow me. It's getting away. Follow it. It's not what moving that, that fast, mean? Commander. Whatever that was, it's dead now. Let's get going. Follow me. Target destroyed. Secondary explosions. Right behind you. Service truck, follow us. Wait. Hostile contact. Three targets and one building. Fox 2. I'm hitting the jammer. There's one left. Make sure jammer destroyed. The All targets have nice been destroyed. Job, Lieutenant. Rendezvous with me immediately. I'm going to have a word or two with recon when we get back. This place is hotter than hell. Let's press on to the main base. If they move on after the runaway builder, they will eventually find it trying to make an escape. Right behind you. Roger that, Commander. We're right on your sixth. Scavengers. These guys didn't have a chance. The main base has got to be close now, so stay tight. Coming up on the main base. Okay, let's move inside. Stay sharp. Those aliens hit this place hard. Towers completely. Targets. Online. Watch that crossfire. We've got company. Open fire. Targets destroyed. Watch that crossfire. This place is crawling. We've got to get power online to this base now. I have an idea. Follow me, Lieutenant. I'm my way. Following, I'm following you. I'm following. Right behind you. Incoming enemy units. Two tangos. 
Target one destroyed. We've got company. Cover me. Target two has been destroyed. Target three engaged. Target three has been destroyed. Service truck, stay on Commander Chabé and repair her vehicle as need be. Area is clear. Doesn't seem to be any more pursuers from. Wait a minute! At least one target in the base area! Target has been destroyed! There are several power generators here, but they do not appear to be active. I'm following. Okay, stand by. I'm starting the building procedure. Make it so. Power's back online, boys. Good work. With power restored, Cerberus base is close to operational. With some more work and more reliable protection, it could be a fully workable base able to house the second fleet during their battle to push the aliens off Pluto and back to wherever they came from. As for now, the enemy have, uh, appear to have retreated to the east. This is Braddock. Burns? Burns. This is Braddock. I know you're out there. If you have something to say, you know my frequency. I'm not standing down on this one. Early intelligence reports are providing the first few details about the alien enemy. Soldiers in combat have noticed the alien ship's ability to morph into different forms, even while fighting. It's a tactic used to both confuse and overwhelm their enemies. In general, the aliens seem to have a strong affinity for and expertise with technology. The earliest observations reveal that their use of biometal is several years ahead of human advancement with the same substance. Although their forces are strong, recon suggests that the units on Pluto may only form an expeditionary force. So far, the enemy bases and structures appear to be temporary, designed for quick placement and removal. Once we got inside the Cerberus base, I thought my questions would be answered. But each corner I turn only brings more questions. I talked to one of the men in Manson's squad. There's a few of them still alive, recuperating in the medical unit. He wouldn't say much, but I couldn't tell if that was because of the fear in his eyes and the burns on his body, or because he really didn't know. I was always prepared to face the fact that someday I might have to die for my country. But I never imagined that I might have to die for something I knew nothing about. But in the military, orders are orders. And they don't always come with an explanation. We're not out of the woods yet, Lieutenant. I want a clean sweep of the area to be sure that this site is secure. Check on the ground in case there are enemy units hiding in the tunnel. I'll search what's left of these buildings. Roger that. Entering tunnel system. I'm picking up something in the tunnel to the north of you. Check it out. I I'm have it. Way. It appears to be a tug of some sort. Switching to missiles. Firing. Cowboy, stop that thing. Don't let it get away with that crate. Roger that. Target destroyed. It looks like the aliens are as interested in us as we are in them. What is this? I don't recognize this building. Whatever we were doing out here, it wasn't a small operation. This was no outpost. This was a fully operational base. 
The blowing shadow were missiles from my use. One. The outpost came under heavy fire. We had to evacuate. Can you assist? Can you transmit your position? Negative. They're interfering with my... Commander, do you copy? Damn it. Maybe we could pick them up with a satellite feed. Follow me, Lieutenant. There's a tank here, so... I'm gonna grab it. No use using the scout if the tank provides more firepower. Now that the calm bunker is powered, you can uplink the goods. Now head inside the bunker. Well do, sir. And look for the inter You are now looking at the satellite feed. Scroll over the map until you've located the missing ships. Satellite Found them. activated. Drop a nav beacon at their location for me to follow. To create a nav beacon in the satellite view, press the N key. To play good work, Lieutenant. Stay here and see to it that nothing happens to that power plant. I'll go for those men and try to get back here as soon as I can. Roger that. You're a good pilot, cowboy. Stay alive out here. Copy that commander will provide perimeter support to the base. Lieutenant, this is General Braddock in carrier orbit. We've got your situation on radar. Listen to me carefully. The enemy is trying to confiscate two ISDF crates located in a northern hangar at that base. Those crates contain sensitive hardware, Lieutenant. Do not let them fall into the hands of the enemy. This is vitally important. Use any means necessary. Roger that. We'll defend the hardware. Another, another one of those ships have appeared on my scope. 150 meters. Danger close. This tank really packs a punch. Enemy scout has been destroyed. Second scout engaged. Second scout destroyed. Enemy hauler destroyed. going to be rough trying to defend both locations at the same time. Not sure that is a viable strategy for just one ship. I'll have to create a patrol pattern to effectively make sure both sides are covered at the same time. Failure to do that will mean either objective will be destroyed. Right behind you. Thanks for the reload supply truck. I don't see any more tangos on the scope. Might just have been a quick raid to try and see our technology. Not sure why they would need to though. Quiet out here. Too quiet. Those aliens might be back any second now. Inspecting hardware crate. This appears to be a new weapon design. Unclear what it is, but it appears to be a close range weapon. Instead of the miniguns, we incoming more haulers. Looks like the new weapon is a very effective weapon against multiple 
enemies at close range. Like, with the armory back online, you can make additional weapons for your Now order the armory to build the missile power-up you want. You can then launch the power-up, or have it built on the armory's loading pad. Select the armory by pressing the three key. Order it to produce a missile power-up. Way ahead of you, sir. I've already switched to the tank. I need a reload. Switching to anti-tank stabbers. Just in case they come back. I will be patrolling the different points. Still nothing in the general vicinity. Hopefully the aliens have understood that trying to get back here is a bad idea. But I don't really expect them to. I mean, uh, if they come with overwhelming force, this single tank is not going to be much of a threat to them. However, the pummel weapon is a very good uh, addition to tanks of the weapons of a Morda and the anti-tank stabber. Wait, I got contacts. Two enemy contacts coming in towards the power array. We're gonna take them out. I'm hit! Enemy units are engaging. Second unit has been destroyed. Good show. I will be heading back to my patrol pattern at this time once the service vehicle has reloaded me. Whoever designed that thing has a wicked sense of humor. It looks like a droid, but it's piloted by a human. Wait! Targets! Switching to pommel! These guys came right out the fuck out of nowhere. Target destroyed. Vehicles destroyed. Four of them. At least the armor of the tank is holding up. Moving to point two point three. Holding pattern. Thank you, droid. I mean, service truck. General Braddock, nothing is happening down here. Could I please have permission to install Facebook on my tank? I mean, there's not really much here to do, and I can see we still have a viable Wi-Fi network in the base, over... Wait. Contact. Unknown contact. Same route as before. These guys don't give up, do they? I seem to have lost it. I had a... Small contact close to this area, but now it seems to be gone. Wonder where it went though.
Wait, contacts. Approaching the base. From the east. Engaging. Anti-tank stabbers. Target has been destroyed. Next target will be engaged. Target destroyed. There's actually one thing I'm gonna do, and that is we're gonna switch it up to medium. Easy is far too easy. Contact! They're making another run for the hardware. The earlier attack might have been an attempt to just drive me off. Two more haulers. Let's give them the motor. This, this weapon is kind of nice. Target destroyed. We're engaging the service truck. I've got the two strays and I'm on my way back to you. Meet me at the armory complex. Roger, will do. Right behind you. I'll bring the service truck so they can be rearmed if necessary. I'm following. Service truck, help nice out Commander Shabaye. I knew I could count on you. Commander Shabayev, this is General Braddock. Hold your position. Drop ships are en route to that location. Stand by to receive the moving star field is and amazing. Set up a base of operations. At 1400 hours, Major Manson, Commander Miller, and Lieutenant Sims were returned safely to Cerberus Base by Commander Shabayev. A short time later, a recycler was dropped near Cerberus base to assist the orange and red squads. The enemy had retreated amidst heavy casualties. Lieutenant Cook, this is General Braddock. Good job with that cyan hauler. I like a man who can protect his turf. We can't let those bastards get a hold of our technology or it's all over. This is a war for the future of the universe here, son. And I'll destroy all my men on the line before I let those scions steal what's rightfully ours. Uh, Commander? Are you sure that's something you really want to tell us? I mean, you don't really want to tell your troops that they are expendable to that degree. Attention, members of the Scion Collective. This is the Padishah speaking. The Dark Planet, Ultimate Destiny, our mission will proceed. Papers found in the Technical Center indicate that scientists on Cerberus Base had gathered technical information predating the attack on the Voyager 2 probe. There is no record of prior violent conflict with the aliens, but information exists about their craft and methods of communication. Amongst the papers were sketches of alien ships and a brief description of a conversation with one of the creatures, dispelling previous assumptions that they cannot communicate via normal human speech. The notes on the interview are brief, but refer to the aliens as Scions, which appear to be the name of their species. There is also mention of a figure called the Padishah, the leader of the Scion creatures. Major Manson safe and sound, and Cerberus base is back online. I'm not sure what's next. Some of the guys are saying we should just pack up and leave. We weren't supposed to be here in the first place, right? We rescued our soldiers and found out who we're fighting. But Braddock's determined to stay. He wants the planet back. And he wants to fight. If defense was this hard, I can't imagine what offense is going to be like. Do you hear that? Pluto is a planet! Major, we've discussed your orders. Rendezvous with Squad Green at Site 2. Yes, sir. Blue 2 and 3, move out. Commander, why don't you deploy that recycler and set up a defensive perimeter? Roger that. Recycler 1, clear the drop. Recycler 1, move into position. Lieutenant Cook, I'm ordering the recycler to deploy. It's the first step towards establishing a base of operations. Your recycler should be in production. Roger that, Commander. 
I'm building a scavenger. It's a scrap collecting unit. Very important, since we require scrap to produce all other units and buildings. Building. Building complete. The scavenger is now under your command, Lieutenant. Let's see if you're ready to handle it. Have it follow you to the scrap pool we passed a few hundred meters to the west. Once you're there, I'll instruct you on how to deploy it. Yes, sir. Lead the way. Roger that. We are on our way to the scrap pool. Got it covered. There it is, cowboy. Scrap is usually concentrated in pools like this one. To deploy the scavenger on the pool, open up its command menu as you would any other vehicle and tell it to go to the pool. Now all you have to do is point it at the pool and press your spacebar. Got it covered. Deploy on the pool. I'll keep you covered. Notice the resource bar in your HUD. The new segment indicates that you have deployed the scavenger successfully. Not bad, Lieutenant. You're a quick learner. Or maybe I'm a good teacher. Incoming. Two contacts. Engaging. Intercepting the enemy targets at this time. Over. We've got more of them again. Hold them off, Cook. Don't let them get to the scavenger while I build some support units. Roger that. Engaging. Finishing the job with miniguns. Roger Got that. Six. We'll deploy the turrets. You're the boss. Deploy at that point. Turrets will automatically deploy wherever you order them to go. Very good. More of them incoming. Turret, be prepared to back me up. Target destroyed. Another one coming in. Target destroyed. Third vehicle. Engaging. Target destroyed. Good show. General Braddock, we're experiencing heavy casualties. The back door is open, General. Please advise, sir. Carry on to the corral, Major. I'll have to improvise. Orange squad, rendezvous with your recycler now. Roger that, we're on it. Commander Shabayev. Leave the lieutenant and rendezvous with Blue Squad in Sector 12. This area is not secured, sir. According to regulations. I am aware of that, Commander. You heard my orders. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, I'm placing that recycler into a production loop. It will continue to build turrets as funds come. Keep a defensive perimeter around it and that scavenger in the field. Don't allow anything to happen to them and stand by for further orders. Roger that. Building complete. You're the boss. I'm putting the second You're turret the on the other side. Wait a minute, more units incoming. Enemy units incoming. Is 
It's going for the recycler. Base under attack. Can't allow anything to happen to the recycler. The sentry has been destroyed. Deploying. Very good. Once another turret is down, we'll put it down to defend the actual recycler as well. Building. Very good, recycler. Building complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Put it down. Deploying. Keep him coming, recycler. Very good. Put down the fourth one here. Near the armory. Might Building need it. Complete. You're the boss. You're the boss. Whatever operations the others are doing seems to have gone well since... Oh, wait, I spoke too soon. Three enemy units Deploy. inbound. Unclear what their target is at this time. Enemy targets are opening fire. One target is heading towards me, the other ones are going for the turrets and the scavenger. Looks like the turrets handle that fine though. So far so good. Consider enemy at point two. Building. Very good. The fifth turret can be placed at my current position to defend this choke point. Building complete. You're the boss. You're Not a moment too soon either. We got enemies inbound on this area, enemies inbound on all the areas. I say again, we have a multi proc attack incoming. Those turrets better hold. Good, that turret is holding. I will report to the scavengers, see that it, that it is safe. Deploying. Turret 5 is under attack. Scrap pool appears to be safe for the time being, but more units are coming around it. Two enemy units. Unclear what the hell that is. Tagged as a warrior, but it seems to be a tougher stuff than previously encountered ships. Putting down the mortars. Engaging. I'm taking damage here. That sentry is delivering a fuck ton of damage to me. I could use that repair truck now. The warrior appears to be some kind of tank. It 
packs a heavier punch than the Sentinel, and is also more heavily armored. Target's destroyed. Finishing off the sentry. Warning. Damage critical. My damage is critical. I say again, my damage Armature is critical. Alright, Lieutenant. Move to the armory. There's a special power up there. You better pick it up, because you're going to need it for this mission. Copy that. I'm on it. Lieutenant Cook, you're going to have to get out of your ship to get that power up. Got it. I'll grab one of the scouts. The this uh, tank is too banged up. Got it. On the way. Now moving. The flock is on the move, General. Get inside that bunker now, Lieutenant. Move! Roger that. I'm inside. All right, Lieutenant. You've just become the key part of this little operation. The sniper rifle you picked up has been modified to fire a tracer round. It plants a bug, not a bullet. Green and blue squads have cut off the enemy's lines of retreat and are forcing them through your location any second now. When the enemy moves through, fire a single tracer into one of their craft. Fire it into their canopy to disable the occupant of the craft. Get ready, Lieutenant. You only have a small window of opportunity. Make your shot count. Roger that. But if I disable the occupant, won't they notice the tracer? Contact. They're approaching the target area. I see them. Base under attack. Nice shot, son. Get to your ship before they take out that bunker. Target has been hit. All forces move in. Roger that. Base I'm getting out of here. Under attack. Taking heavy damage. Well, at least we got friendly tanks inbound, but we can't hit the tag targets. They're moving, General, just as you planned. Target destroyed. Excellent. Stay with them, Cook, but be sure not to hit that tag ship. Missile off. Missiles are being launched. Stand by. That, tar that tagged ship is blocking my path to the primary target. What the? They've reached their retreat vessel, General. You should be picking up the tracer on radar now. I've got it, Major. Get your units to the dust off site. We're going after them. Copy that. The Scions have retreated off planet Pluto and are using the trace track sorry and using the tra tracer device planted on one of their ships were tracked to a previously unknown planet within our solar system. As the planet has not yet been discovered by the astronomers of Earth, it is currently unnamed and referred to hereafter in official documents as the Dark Planet due to its obscured nature. Investigation of the status of Pluto in the science wake revealed that the aliens had not made much of a foothold on that planet. No central science base was found, indicating that the science soldiers were housed elsewhere. 
their presence on Pluto presumably was solely for temporary battle. The science also did not seem to be thriving on Pluto as several dead bodies of cyan creatures were found. Autopsy, as best it could be performed in the field on non-human creature, revealed that three cyans must have died from illness as no injuries or sign of attack were found on their bodies. And that is where we're gonna stop for this time with the Battle of Pluto concluded and next time we are gonna go for the Dark Planet and I hope you tag along that time because it is bound to be interesting.